This picture in their marketing um, seemed to imply that zero TDS is optimal and that having any TDS implies that there's some kind of contamination in your water. And so hopefully with today's demonstration, you're going to see that that's not necessarily the case. We're going to fill up the first beaker with a picture of this water and then five others that we're going to test. What is in each of these beakers? The first one, water from the pitcher. The second is distilled water with a splash of nail polish remover. Third beaker is a laboratory sample of 50 parts per billion of lead. This beaker, which had about 12 TDS, was a pretty typical spring water, artesian water. And then finally, the really high TDS, the 125, traced mineral drops. So there you have it, folks. A little demonstration that the measure of TDS in the water is not necessarily a measure of its safety or its healthfulness. Do your research, and we hope this information has been helpful to you.